Wow, that glare from my glasses, that's uh, something else, right? Hey friends, my name is Amy Rebecca and welcome back to part two of my enormous and potentially never-ending attic declutter. If you missed the first part of this, I'm going to link it in the description box down below along with my entire decluttering playlist for those of you who want to spend the day binge watching decluttering videos. That actually sounds like such a good time. Let's be real, last time I attempted this, I got very overwhelmed by the sheer volume of things and the whole dis array and it got very stressful. Today I'm going in with a plan. I have set myself specific goals and I'm hoping that that way I will be able to stay focused and be more productive and not get so overwhelmed. Gotta be in a good mental headspace. Hence the coffee. If you're new here, why not take a second to go ahead and subscribe before I haul myself up into that tiny hatch and uh, start wading my way through the rubbish. <sighs> Let's do this. So, one of the strip lamps is out, which is great because this wasn't hard enough already. And I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it sounds like the house is about to be blown down. It's also freezing. It's okay, I'm dressed really warm. I'm not very fashionable, but when am I ever? So I brought up my list of things to do. Number one is sort the stuff that I decluttered last time because I didn't really declutter it. I just threw it all into a pile here and then moved on with my life. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna divide up what's recycling, what's rubbish, what can be donated slash some of you guys suggested that I upload some things onto that app called Olio. Olio. So I'm gonna see if there's anything that I think I can get rid of. Yeah, let's do that. for this kind of thing. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to hear me over the sound of the wind, but one of the things that I struggle with most when I'm decluttering is getting sidetracked by other smaller, more interesting seeming jobs. So look, right now, I'm like going through this paperwork and I'm thinking, I wanna file the paperwork. I don't wanna deal with all of this, but I'm not categorizing paperwork today that it's not what I am here to do. We're off to a good start. I feel a lot better this time than I did last time because I actually know what I'm doing. This here, this much condensed pile is what is gonna go, I don't know, to the charity shop whenever it opens or maybe I'll be able to get rid of this stuff on Facebook Marketplace. This is the loudest place in the world. Between the wind and the building work next door, it's insane. So I apologize. I managed to get rid of one, and a half bags of recycling and one, two, three bags of just general waste. Someone's calling me. Hello, um, I'm in the attic and I was getting rid of stuff and you had all of this paperwork about asbestos safety and I decided that maybe you wouldn't want that and I threw it away. Okay, good. Okay, I'm glad he didn't want that. This is also a great time for me to firstly take a break and secondly address a question that I got a lot in my first video, which was, hey Ames, why are you decluttering the attic when it's not yours? Which is a fair question, but I'm looking around here right now and I'm confident that at least 90% of this stuff is mine. So right now my parents are hoarding a lot of my junk for me and I feel like I should go through and deal with that. So yeah. That's why I'm doing that. And I've lost my list of things to do. Oh, so three more boxes. But all the boxes are back here. How will I get to them? Okay, I've 
reached another block in the road quite literally because the boxes are really packed in back there and like stacked on top of each other in a way that it's kind of impossible to bring them out um, without moving all this stuff first but to move that stuff I gotta move this stuff and it's just too much it's just difficult to know what to do I can't even stand properly right now because there's so much stuff like look there's no room to stand this is what real life decluttering looks like okay stressful time having a plan is good being able to adapt when that plan doesn't work out is better so what i'm gonna do is spend maybe the last like 15 20 minutes going around seeing if there's any like rubbish stuff we cannot donate sell it would be no use to anyone and then just clear that out of the way and that we'll have more space to work why am i so out of breath <laughs> Successful. Things are definitely looking a little bit clearer over here. Um, this not so much. And this definitely not. This area is now just stuff that needs to be donated or given away in some capacity. Which is a lot more orderly than it was when I got here. And there's also a lot more, even though the pile is smaller, there's a lot more actual stuff in there. I was able to put aside a lot more stuff. Whereas the rest was just rubbish. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six full bags of rubbish. You know, not things that could be donated, not things that could be used, not things that we needed, things that were broken, old paperwork, stuff that is no good to anyone. We were storing six bags of rubbish in our attic. And that is why decluttering is important because who has space in their life to store six bags of actual trash <sighs> i'm starting to see progress now i know it doesn't look like it but i am we're gonna be doing this for a while and it's gonna be frustrating probably more so for me than for you you guys were really helpful last time in giving me tips and encouragement for a space of this size so if you have any more please throw them my way because this is pretty intense but thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much remember you are enough just as you are and i will see you all soon Bye.